Hey there guys, this is the first video in a series looking at bringing animation into Unreal and hooking it up with player controllers. The first thing we're going to do is export out our animation and our skelly mesh from Maya. We'll be using Game Exporter to export out our skelly mesh and our animations. We'll use Game Exporter because it allows for you to send a skelly mesh as a separate object and animations purely as animation data so you don't have to keep bringing in your whole skeleton and your mesh every single time that you export out an animation. So here inside of Maya we have a skeleton and a mesh complete with a rig. We're using the ART system from Epic Games. Um, but when we come to export, we don't need any of the rig, we only need our skeleton and our mesh. So if I go and select my mesh and my skeleton, I'll go over to Game Exporter. That's this guy here. If you don't have this listed, you want to have a look in your plugins, which is under Windows, Settings, settings and Preferences, and Plugin Manager. There'll be a whole bunch of different things in here that are either loaded, unloaded, or they're auto-loaded. And you just need to go through and make sure that you've got this guy here uh, clicked on. So Game FBX Exporter. So as long as that guy's clicked on, then we can do this process. And then it's really quite simple. So I open up Game Exporter here. And we have a few different options. You'll notice at the top we've got three tabs. We're just going to send out our skelly mesh right now, so we go into model and we have the option, first option here of export all or export selection. Because we only have one option, uh, one model in our scene here, it's quite okay to export all. And we'll just make sure we've got smoothing groups and smooth mesh on, and then everything else generally comes in fine as default. Under our settings, we can just check to make sure that we've got. Uh, our up axis set correctly. Because we're using the ART system, our up axis is Z instead of Y. Generally, it's always Y, but in um, in Unreal, Z is up. So I'm just going to make sure that that's ticked on. And then, as standard, we want to use FBX 2014. It's the more stable and generally more accepted uh, FBX platform. So make sure we check that check that guy on. Then it's a simple matter of saying which directory we want this to go into and giving it a file name. When it comes to exporting animation, oh, I do actually have some animation on here, um, it's a similar process. Again, we select, oh, actually I don't need the mesh selected, I can just select my skeleton. We go to Game Exporter and then just go to the, the second tab, Animation Clips. Now in this one we don't need export all because that will bring in the mesh. So we'll just go export selected selected. And then we have this this really cool function up here of um animation clips. So if I have more than one clip in here, so say I have an idle from zero to let's just say thirty-six frames, and then we have a walk cycle which starts at frame forty and goes Oh, oh no. <laughs> a walk cycle that goes from frame 40 to say 60 then when we click export it will export all of these different animations as separate files and because we've got export selection on it won't bring in the mesh each time just the animation data so just like with the model export I will have to make sure that I have my Z axis as the up axis and FBX 2014 as my standard. And then, same, same. Select your directory and give your animation a, a name. Okay, I'm not going to export because I've already done this, but uh, just a quick demo of how to do that inside of Autodesk Maya. Okay, so now we have our animations exported we just need to make ourselves a new project. I'm going to use the third person as my standard just so I can steal some of the assets. So there we go in and just create a new project.
Okay, so now that's set up, we're just going to set a folder directory. I just like to have all of my characters in one area. So I'll make a characters folder and then make a folder for my character. She's called Aegis. So make her folder and inside of there I want to make another folder for animation, another one for her mesh and another one for her blueprints. Okay, and once that's set up, we want to go about importing our skelly mesh. Okay, at this point, we don't have a skeleton in there that we're using, so we keep it set as none and just click import. Generally, you ignore the uh, error messages <laughs> and then just double click on her to just make sure that the joints are in there. So just click on various parts of her and you'll see the joints and they will correspond with the hierarchy on the left. She's all good. So now we want to bring in her animations. got a few in here and um, we're going to make her go from a walk or should I say an idle into a walk into a run so that will be a blend space. I've also got a kick and a jump um, and we'll go about setting up just some standard things for her. Okay so when you import them it will ask you which skeleton you want to use. So I want to use our Aegis Skelly Mesh. So bring that guy in and wait for the error messages. Okay, so there's our error messages. I don't think I've ever imported anything without them. Um, generally they just, they kind of mean nothing, so uh, unless they cause you problems, ignore them. So we're just going to double click on a few of our animations to make sure they're working okay. Our slightly dodgy walk seems to work okay. Our slightly dodgy run works fine. And our very gentle idle is also working fine. And a really dodgy grouch. Okay, so they seem to have come in okay. Now we can have a look at creating some blueprints. There's three blueprints we need to make. One is the character class. Um, for this, um, we're going to be referencing the third person uh, blueprint. So instead of using one of the standard uh, menus that comes up in front of you, we're going to pull down our menu here and just type in third person. And look for the third person character. There it is there. Okay, we'll just rename that. And if I double click on that one, then you see by default it comes in with the mannequin. Uh, we want to change that to Aegis, so our mesh that we've imported. So if we just click on our mesh here and see over on the right hand side, we have our mannequin, and we just want to change that to Aegis. There we go. So we'll just compile that and save and come out. Now we need to make an animation blueprint. Okay, so now we just make sure we reference the Aegis Skelly Mesh and click OK and rename that Aegis BP or something, something that makes sense to you. just going to make sure that our character class is referencing our, our blueprint that we've just created.
And then finally, we'll create a blend space. We have two options here, a blend space or 1D. We're going to go with 1D to just create a simple um, blend space between idle, walk and run. It's 1D because it all goes in one direction. So go ahead and create that and then we're ready for the next step.